So disk detainers are the hot new thing. Everybody's picking them now, myself included. Um, but I think a lot of people who are just getting into this are buying the Sparrows pick and maybe don't have experience with locks, other types of locks that have sidebars. Um, you may not be used to dealing with gates and false gates and what it actually feels like to wiggle to measure a gate. Um, so I just want to demonstrate real quick what that's like. So you can you can look down this wheel pack, sorry, uh, disc pack. I'm, I'm going to make a, uh, a safe lock analogy later, so I got wheel pack on the mind. Um, and you can see these, these little arcs of light, those are, that are reflecting back up, those are the discs, that, or at least the leading edge of the discs. And if I move disc one out of the way, we can see underneath it is two. That's disc two. And that's the one I'm going to be manipulating to, I guess maybe that's disc one and this one is just for drill protection because this is a free spinner. I'm going to call that disc one. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, this I'm using my silver bullet, it's a rear tensioner, um, but it doesn't matter if you're using the Sparrow's pick, it's the same thing. So I'm going to move, move this drill protection out of the way so you can see what's happening underneath. I'm going to come down between the two. Damn it, I don't have the angle quite right, do I? Let's try that. Can you still see? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to come down, pick up disc one, and then it's binding. So I'm trying to move it and it's resisting, and then I keep pushing, and there it kind of clicked, and now it wiggles back and forth completely without resistance through this whole range of motion and it's it's like if you've uh, messed with the safe dial this is like measuring your left and right contact points this it turns with nothing and then it hits and turns back and it hits and so that's when you know you're in a gate this disc is set if there's a false gate it may uh, move less like the angle subtended by the gate is just it's a smaller angle so you kind of have to discover what that angle is as you move through. You go through and you'd set and you're in a gate. Maybe, maybe it moves freely and you, you look at the disc, you look at, at the upper part of your, your pick and measure how far you're able to turn, measuring your contact points. And then you go down, set another one, and you find that this one, oh my god, this one I can turn 20% more. Okay, then you would move back up and... Uh, find the wider gate, the true gate. So that's that's how it works. You just do that all the way down and then your lock opens. It's that easy. Yeah, right.